Hey team, just a quick uh, note to say, if you haven't come and join me on Instagram, I'd love to see you over there. I'm posting clips from the podcast. I'm also uh, putting kind of quotes and things on there. Um, and I'd, I'd love to have your support. So if you haven't caught me over there yet, come follow at Rebel Spirituality on Instagram. Okay, so what to talk about. It's funny, I came off of this really wonderful coaching call yesterday and I was and I f just knew that I needed to talk about the content of that session. Um, and I guess I've decided to title this coming from the heart. And the gentleman that I was kind of talking to, he he was talking about how he has this feeling that he's okay when he's in when he's in recognition of how the work he's doing is impacting other people. And and if he knew that, if he knew that in his heart all the time, then then he would be he'd be okay. And uh, we had this really beautiful discussion, and he came to realize that he'd been playing out this this um, energy where he was only okay if he knew that he was doing doing something good in the world. And we really had this really wonderful conversation about inherent value, about how, in a way, when we're kind of in a mode of doing, and this is very common for a lot of us, you know, I include myself in this bracket for the longest time as well. And I still have my moments, right? When we're when we think that we need to do things and we need to achieve and accomplish things in order to complete ourselves, in order to be okay in the world, so that then we can kind of rest and have a moment's kind of reprieve and to, and to feel okay. It's a little bit like um, trying to make the tail wag the dog, right? Let me explain what I mean by that. If, if that's true, if we always need to be doing those things in order to be whole and complete, then we always need to be doing those things. And if we're not doing those things, then we won't feel whole and complete. It's like, a, it, it's logical, right? Now, the thing that many of us don't know is that for those of us who just can feel that we have something amazing to bring into the world, and there's something that you want to do to impact the people around you, um, and you just have this sense, you don't need to focus so much on the doing all the time, all right? We live in a society that trains us into doing, constantly doing. Um, and many of us are running with these kind of deep um, core beliefs around unworthiness or, or not being enough and or not being valuable and that we need to do something in the world in order to, in order to prove ourselves. But the truth of the matter is at the level of who you really are, at the level of um, spirit, at the level of soul, there's, there is, nothing that you or I or anyone could do in this world that could possibly take anything away from that or add anything to it or add anything to it. It's not of this world. It doesn't, it doesn't kind of operate under the laws of form. We can't add, we can't take away. It's, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. And here's what's really amazing is the more we start to see the truth of that, the more we start to understand our inherent value just in being here, just by just the very fact that you're here aware listening to this means that you are 100 percent worthy and you deserve your place and that's always been true and it will always be true and that will never change that will never change and the more we know that the more we come into that kind of heart space the more we realize our inherent value the more we naturally just feel that creative impulse to do those incredible things in the world, but we're no longer doing them because we feel like we need to complete ourselves or any of that kind of stuff. We're no longer trying to make the tail wag the dog. Now the dog is wagging its own tail. Now it's coming from heart. The energy is coming from within you. It's coming from this deeper spiritual space. And many, I think many of us, we're worried or we're fearful that if if we don't have this kind of motivating energy, it's like, well, I'm not going to get anything done, Sam, like this energy that I've been running on um, this need to do stuff has, has been very powerful for me, but experiment with this. What if, what if it doesn't have to be like that? What if so much or almost all of that beautiful, um, desire to help and do amazing things in the world is built into your, in built into you is built into the system. What if you don't have to worry about all the doing? What if you can focus on the heart and the being and then the doing will take care of itself? That's been my experience. The more I slow down and come into the moment, you know, I recorded a video about slowing down and smelling the roses, right? It's all about that. The more I'm in the moment, I get in deep connection with those 
authentic desires of mine, those gifts that I've got to give to the world. And then I naturally want to kind of do things and put them into the world. And it's a much more settled and uh, just more rich experience because we're, we're coming from abundance. We're not coming from this place of scarcity. So it was such a lovely chat that I had yesterday. And I, I just want to, wanted to honor it by putting the, some of the energy behind it out there into the world. And, uh, if this hits you in any way, if this resonates, be sure to reach out and let me know and, uh, be sure to come and join the, the rebel weekly as well. If you haven't go and, uh, go hit the link either in the show notes or, uh, on YouTube or whatever, and, um, come and join it. I'll send a, an email to you every week, which, um, has got a lot of heart from me. I'm leading from the heart on that as well. And, uh, yeah, I absolutely love, uh, creating those, writing those. All right, team. I hope you have the most amazing week. Thanks for listening. I'll see you soon. Thank you.